Travers Stakes Day Picks and Preview on Biggest Day of Racing at 2022 Saratoga Summer Meet The 153rd Running of the Travers Headlines The Biggest Day of the Summer at Saratoga. Six graded stakes including five grade one races highlight the 13 race card. The $1.25 million Travers drew a very competitive field of eight runners for the Midsummer Derby and post time for the one and a quarter mile Travers as 5.44 p.m. Eastern Time and race 11 on the card. The Travers Stakes will be shown live nationwide on Fox Television as part of an hour-and-a-half telecast starting at 4.30 p.m. ET. Additional coverage including big races from Saratoga and across the country can be watched live on TVG as part of their watch and wager comprehensive coverage. Trainer Chad Brown holds his strongest hand yet in the 2022 Travers seeking his first win in the Midsummer Derby, the oldest race for three-year-olds in North America. Brown saddles Grade 1 Preakness Stakes winner Early Voting, 8 over 1, along with Grade 1 Blue Grass Stakes winner Zandon, 5 over 1, who also finished third in the Kentucky Derby and runner-up in the most recent Jim Dandy Stakes at Saratoga. Also, late bloomer Artorius, 9 halves, making just his fourth start in a Sun 2016 Travers and Breeders' Cup Classic winner Arrogate, gives Brown a solid trio of runners to take aim at the favorite. Epicenter, seven-fifths, is the morning line favorite who will go to post as the public's choice to beat. He's trained by Steve Ismussen, and Epicenter finished runner-up in the Kentucky Derby and Preakness before winning last month's Jim Dandy stakes with the fastest speed figure of his career. Along with shocking Kentucky Derby longshot winner Rich Strike, 10 over 1, this year's Travers is living up to the hype with the top three Kentucky Derby finishers in the race along with recent Grace 1 Haskell Stakes winner Cyberknife, 7 halves. Along with the $1.25 million Grade 1 Travers, there are four other Grade 1 races and one Grade 2 Saturday at Saratoga. Saturday's Race 10 Sword Dancer is also a win and you're in Breeders' Cup qualifying race. So is Sunday's Grade 1 Ballerina Handicap for Phillies and Mares. You can watch the video replay of the recent Jim Dandy stake.